we will start with the first of the creational patterns which is the prototype design pattern if you look at the prototype design pattern it says a fully initialized instance to be copied or cloned a lot of the definitions of the design patterns might seem very complex at the start but when we really understand them with an example you would really see that they are very very simplified definitions let's consider a game of chess in the game of chess there is an initial setup of how the pieces have to be arranged the king is in a specific place the pawns are in specific places queen rook bishop everything has a place that is assigned to them so let's say i'm building a software to model the chess game every time a new chess game is played i need to create this structure again and again the initial layout of the board i would need to keep building it again and again instead of doing it again and again can we have an object of that built and have it readily available so that whenever we need to create a new chess game we copy from it or we clone from it that's the prototype pattern in a prototype pattern you have a fully initialized instance the fully initialized instance in this particular context is the initial setup of the board so the initial setup of the chess board you would have it fully initialized and available whenever a new chess game is started let's say take the online website chess.com there are thousands of games being played every day i mean actually millions of games played every day and every time what they do would be to copy the initial structure that they have they would not keep creating the structure of the board again and again whenever a new game is initialized you have an already initialized instance and you copy it in the technical terms that's called cloning so you clone the already initialized object and that's the prototype pattern thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us at in 28 minutes we defined a learning road map for java and front end developers we created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen there are four things you can do to make best use of these courses number 1 is udemy you will find a link in the description of the video to our udemy profile we are teaching a lot of courses on udemy and most of them are free number 2 visit our website www.in28minutes.com you'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to udemy and our github code as well number 3 visit our github repository with more than 20 repositories covering varied examples It's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In 28 Minutes, your destination for high-quality step-by-step -step courses.